What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money and welcome to a big viewer request of you guys here in this video with a Spectre bot brand new Mark II level 12 with four times Shock Train Mark II level 12. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is absolutely insane. We have on the enemy team three or four people working in a squad. They're all Mark II level 12 only with pretty much only dash bots, almost, okay? So this matchup is here, it, it couldn't be a better environment to test this brand new uh, setup here in action against super highly upgraded and skilled players on the enemy team, okay? And uh, I also have a three-man three, three -man squad in my team that I found later, uh, but the enemy is really dominating this one and the outcome of this battle is insane. Boom! Four times shock train, Mark II level 12, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, needless to say, being the only Spectre in this match, I have a lot of focus, okay? So I have to be incredibly careful what I do here. Every time I land and my stealth ability runs out, there's a good chance somebody will try to get their hands on me, okay? So this is what I'm trying to live with here, the fact that I'm a big target for everyone. But during the stealth jump, of course, and after for 3-4 seconds, I'm pretty well... Um, well, I have a good chance to survive this, okay? Here we have an Haeshi sitting it under uh, the bridge in this corner and I'm poof! 40% damage in one hit. We got a little bit of a chain damage here uh, from another guy's shock train, but we're so far pretty good. And uh, you know, this match here, I chose this because it's the best and closest and absolutely ridiculously coolest rounds I've ever I've ever had in a long time, guys. Uh, it's team deathmatch, okay? So it's very tactical, you don't want to die on this one. Um, that's pretty much the game mode. Don't die, right? <laughs> Try to kill them without dying yourself. This jump here, as you see, useless. They kind of expected my jump. And, um, of course, I'm jumping backwards. I'm never trying to jump into the enemy, because if you do, they can just, uh, you know, uh, destroy you very quickly afterwards. So, every jump, try to try to plan the jump so that you land in safety somehow, okay? You can still land slightly next to cover, so that you have to maybe walk one step uh, out of, and then you are in cover. Did you see that? This Lancelot comes out, I fire once into his frontal shielding, boom! And with this, uh, the Plasma Griffin to our left is already through the frontal armor plating. Although I was unable to deal damage to that Lancelot, what I was able to do is break the middle part of the Ancelot frontal shielding so that our Plasma Griffin can do a good job against him. This Griffin right there, well, he jumped, but he doesn't have a stealth jump, so what happened? He jumped and he doesn't survive the jump. He's, he comes down dead, right? That's one thing that you don't have happening with the Spectre bot and four medium weapons, guys. Uh, let me just say, you, this is really, really overpowered here. Um, and the dominance of this bot is very clear here on this map, okay? Uh, we're not only dealing tons of damage in this match, we're really carrying this team so hard with this one bot. One bot and we carry this team so amazingly much, okay? And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> The outcome is, is absolutely insane, guys. It's gonna be so intense later. Boom! There's Hayashi. I did not jump at him to get closer to him faster because then I wouldn't have had my stealth ability. What I did, I walked into his line of fire and activated the stealth ability only when I needed it badly, okay? To not die. That's when you activate the stealth jump. You don't use the stealth jump like in a griffin to get to your target. You use it to get out of danger. That's the most important thing, okay? And, um, yeah. Now there's a really good thing coming. Look, this Lancelot, I cannot hit him directly. What I can do, though, I can jump, target the guy next to him, and kill the Lancelot with this from the side. Um, that was a really, really well-worked plan. Like, that was my plan, and it actually worked, okay? Because if that other guy wouldn't ha would have been, let's say, maybe a Lancelot, then I would have not dealt damage to him. But I would have still been able to chain over to the other Lancelot, though. This guy came at me, White Tiger, he jumped at me with his death button griff and he wanted to try to get me because, like I said, I'm a huge target for these guys. They want to get this Spectre sh Shock Train bot out of the match. And I can perfectly understand why, because the, the, every second I'm in this match, being allowed to perform is the chance for them to win this match going smaller, smaller and smaller, okay? See that Bulgazari Shock Train? He wasn't aware of that when I'm, when I was uh, jumping up here, so he couldn't help hold his shield up and he got a big hit right in there. But of course I got once again some chain damage. And pretty much the only damage I have taken so far in this match is Shock Train Trains. Uh, shock Train Chain. <laughs> yeah, so, and you cannot protect yourself from that. The stealth ability does not protect you from the Shock Train uh, jump over. You cannot be targeted, but a friendly can still chain over to you. 
So I want that Bulgazari. I, I consider that Bulgazari the most important target, and he does not consider that somebody could jump up from behind and get him like this. All right, so I got once again a really, really big hit in there, and uh, this Bulgazari has hit points on mass. Okay, very important kill right here. It's 45% damage uh, hit points. Haeshi, boom, one hit kill down. Absolutely important kill. However, he did manage to kill my teammate and they are still in the lead 16 to 13 I'm jumping one more time I don't see where the Bulgazari is aiming, but I was lucky that I got him here and now I'm in trouble Okay, did you see this? I was trying to walk back. Did you see me trying to walk back? No, 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 don't jump so far Don't jump so far. No Well, that's it. I landed out of cover I wanted to land on the platform or on the pipeline and then walk back in cover, but I cannot. By the way, nice skin of the Haeshi here, brand new skin. I wanted to go in cover and now I'm trapped. Now I can't do anything and they got me. Boom. So if you do one false jump with the Spectre, you're completely obliterated immediately. One false jump is all that's necessary for you to basically kill yourself. And that false jump, it was kind of good because I got the Bulgazari, but I wanted to land behind the pipeline in, in within our territory so I could walk back behind cover. That was unable, I was unable to do that, unfortunately. All right, so let's keep on going. 16 to 17. It will keep going this way the whole time. Every team wants to win, and they are all trying to be very careful in order to not lose it uh, with, for no reason, right? I want kills too. And uh, I made this Bulgazari shoot into the wall. Did you see that? The full firepower of this Bulgazari went into the wall because I activated the stealth ability in the very moment he wanted to j uh, fire at me. So once again, another uh, Haeshi coming up here. And from the side, I have another Bulgazari or Haeshi. And I didn't see this guy coming. Uh, also, nice skin on that Bulgazari. Like I said, this is a high-end squad only. There's nothing but high ends here with these guys. And um, Komiho, very dangerous and strong, but thankfully he doesn't run Orkans. If he had Orkans, I would have no chance against him. He would constantly dash around the corner and shoot Orkans in my face when I come around the corner. Thankfully, he doesn't have Orkans. He's got the, the, the um, Scourge. Yeah, that's the weapon. Right. So I can hunt him down here pretty good and get another very important kill. Now, you remember that Bulgazari? The Bulgazari with, uh, with, what was it, Plasma? I'm not sure. Anyways, a Bulgazari is definitely a, Oh yeah, he's got Plasma, that's right. This guy would have been my kill. He can't get through my frontal shield, and I can get through his with my rockets. This is an absolute important kill for me. So I'm chain I'm rushing this guy. But these guys are in team speak with each other. These guys are communicating and with voice communication. And this guy is screaming in somebody's ear, I need Orkans! Quick! Bridge! And there are the Orkans. And I'm unable to get my plan worked out to kill that Bulgazari. That Bulgazari would have been an absolute free kill for me. And uh, I, I, I would have, I even deserved that kill because I came up with this absolute hard counter and went in and would have killed him, no problem here, with that fast rhino. But he yelled, Orkans bridge into somebody's ear, and they came dashing forward, immediately helping him out, and they came with Orkans, and there's nothing I could have done. So my last spot here for now is the um, Carnage with two times uh, Dragoon level 12 Mark II here on it. And it's 23 versus 24. I can't believe it. We're just, we just can't get a tie. We just can't get a draw. It's just always when, every time we kill one, they kill one. Boom. And they're one, one point before us. At this point in the match, everyone here knew what was at stake. This great battle, very even teams. You very rarely have such amazingly even teams, by the way. Those are the best matches that you never forget, right? And every player here knows what it's, was it, it's, what is at stake here. Losing the best match that they ever seen. <laughs> so no one wants to lose. We're all very tactical now. We have a, a Haeshi uh, there. We are covering the Haeshi with Zeus and Dragoon from behind. So if somebody was to come around and rush that Haeshi, he's gonna have is it in for a big surprise at this point, right? But surprise is not the matter here. No one is going to be surprised here. Uh, he got hit by the shock train. That was that was unnecessary, dude. He should have uh, he should have du double dashed, and then the uh, Wilgazari wouldn't have had him get him, get him there. So this Komiho comes out. Okay, 24 to 25 again. What? We lost another person somewhere. Once again, we're not in the lead. Oh god, this is so nerve-wracking, guys. This is so nerve-wracking. Hayashi, get back, get back. You're in cover. You you are not in cover. Come on. No, dude, this is... Oh, man. 24 to 26. And it looks like we're never going to draw. 
uh, to make a draw out of this again. On the other side of the map, though, to the left, you see two arrows, blue, blue and yellow on the left screen. One of our guys just orkened some other guy out of existence. So now it's 25 versus 26. We need one kill to make a draw. We know we won't win this. There's pretty much no chance for us to win this match. What we can do, though, we can try to get a kill and make this a draw. There is two targets I can see. This Bulgazari is almost destroyed. And behind there is the other guy with his um, thing. The Bulgazari is down. Now we have... One chance, the last remaining chance is this one guy. If he screws it up, they will win in 15 seconds. This guy here with his butch trebuchet, if he will just walk behind cover, they will have won. And if he stays up there, he's gonna get whooped by my dragoon and they will have only a draw. So it's all up to him. Whatever he's going to do now will decide over who's winning or not, okay? One more shot. One more shot. No, yes! And there we go. 27 versus 27 in the last possible second. See up here? Two, one. My last shot came out. I just reloaded this shot. I squeezed this shot in between the bridge and that ramp. And it went in there just by an inch. I just want to show you how absolutely close this was. Second last shot. And here, last shot. Hold on. See how close this thing whoop went in there between the bridge and the... And the, the such a close one, and one second later, round is over. They even here, this Haeshi here just killed whoever was on the left side. So it was actually, our Haeshi here to the left is now dying. Did you hear that? He was thrown out of the out of the uh, the match, uh, out of the bot. So they still got another kill, but it wasn't it didn't count anymore because the countdown was over, and that's why 27 versus 12, 27. I don't think you're ever gonna get a closer mo closer one than this. I have done 1.7 million damage, and most of that, I think a million and 200 thousand or so, was only the shock trains on that Spectre bot that we have been using. So uh, yeah, these guys, and in order to show you that. I, I want to prove to you guys we're, uh, that we were not just fighting some, I don't know, random dudes. Uh, let me just give, give you guys a little int info here about what they have, okay? Alright, clicking on it. Profile. I want to show this to you guys. Mark 2, level 12, everything. And everything dashbot with new skins and one fury Zeus, okay, as a sniper. That's what they're running around with, okay? This is like a battle rec account. This is like the press account that I have here, but they actually, you know, purchase... Oh, I'm being invited by these guys now. They saw my damage, 1.7. They saw how I carried this other team, and they were like, come on, we need this guy in our team, man. <laughs> and look, the next guy. Dash, 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 dash. Mark two, level 12. Nothing but that. That's what these players are playing, okay? This is absolute insanity. Next guy, okay, he has not that much of a... He's probably a new member in this squad. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, this is... Uh, that You could see how much I was able to carry this match. Imagine I would have been able to survive this a little longer. This is what we have been using here. Also, Mark 2, level 12 only. But like I said, this is a press account, right? It's just meant to... I, I was provided with this account so I can make a few test videos and live streams. But these guys actually own these other accounts. That's that's insane. My own account looks so weak compared to this. Um. Anyways, let's have another round here. I want to show you how you can counter... Um, Bulgazari shock train uh, with your Spectre shock train, right? That has actually just lost 50 or 60% health in one shot, okay? Now, I know the Bulgazari is aiming at me here. What I do, and he doesn't know I'm going to do this, that I think in time, Bulgazaris will get the idea that, oh, the Spectre can jump and then he will fire, okay? Right now, the Spectre is brand new. These people don't know what they're in for when I'm standing like this. He is in grave danger right now, and he doesn't know. Let me show you why. Boom! You can never react that fast. He can't shoot back because I have the stealth ability active with the jump, and he cannot even react so fast to turn his shield in, in uh, to not get to block the damage. Now I'm firing only one shock train so that I get this guy out of existence, and this guy thought, ah, he just fired, but he was wrong, because I only fired one shock train. Three more were fully loaded and waiting for him. Boom, both of these uh, dash bots are gone. All right, so this is how you basically counter the Bulgazari, and I have to give uh, uh, a credit here to Adrian Chong, by the way. He uh, he always said that the Bulgazar with Shock Train is much more dangerous than the Haeshi with Shock Train, and uh, you're right, buddy. Absolutely, I thought I always said the Shock Train Haeshi is the most important, uh, the most dangerous thing, uh, but 
especially when it comes to longer range. You are completely correct, man. That the Bulgazari is the worst thing ever because he even blocks the only kind of damage that you that you take at that distance. That's uh, you know plasma damage. And um, yeah, we, now we can counter this a little bit. Did you see that this Lancelot? Two times. Okay, let me show this again. This is very important, I think. We are now firing at this Lancelot here. A full Lancelot comes at, comes my way with plasma, okay? And normally that's a really, really dangerous enemy. Now, what do I do? One, two, three, four. All four shock trains in there. I'm firing them one at a time so that when one breaks the shield, the others will already go through. We're regenerating the shock trains here and now we're jumping up. One more time. Boom, boom. And already through. And now three and four will de- Three and four will deal damage. Boom, boom. Did you see that? Pretty much one and a half times firing with this Spectre Shock Train bot and you're through the Ansel Shield. Before my stealth ability runs out, I'm gonna fire one more time and get in cover because you can fire the Shock Train even before it's fully reloaded. And all I need to do is this. Full Lancelot killed, he didn't stand the slightest chance and he got completely destroyed. His frontal shield didn't really do much for him. It was only able to block a little bit of damage. So. All right, so I was I decided to go for this target because this guy was out of range and I chained over to him Do you see how much damage this guy took this this griffin right there was 100% full? He just lost 60% health, okay, and the rhino next to him also got a ton of damage All right, so this RDB although he is in theory in range of me can't really do much boom the Rhino is already down to 40 like to 60% health now simply because I chained over to him a couple of times so, and I'm trying to uh, chain over from him. Yeah, that, I was trying to chain in the back to the Rhino from the Lancelot, but they may have just been out of range, right? The jumping over distance is only 150 meters, I think, and I think the Lancelot was too far away. But now you can see how fragile the Spectre is, right? We have a Mark II level 12 Spectre, right? And this RDB opens fire. You can already see four of his rockets coming in here. Boom, 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 boom. Although I was able to deal a lot of damage to him still, I was almost killed in the process. Did you see that? Uh, so half my bot is gone with a few RDB shots. So yes, the Spectre is absolutely fragile. It's a very vulnerable bot, but with a stealth jump, absolutely overpowered still. And I don't know... I, I kept saying this from the beginning that the low HP is not going to make a balanced bot out of this because four medium weapons and stealth jump is a no-go. No matter what you do with this, it's already overpowered. Even, even if you lower the HP even further, it will still be overpowered because you have the stealth jump and these four weapons. And I need to say this as clear as I can uh, that this thing, it performs too much, okay? It's too dangerous. Do you see? It's just one Spectre with Shock Train turning upside down the entire balancing of this game. I was able to hard carry against the highest possible players you could ever encounter in this game. And I was able to hard carry this match with just one Spectre Shock Train. Imagine, it's, it doesn't look so bad right now, but imagine you have five of those or six of those jumping around in the enemy team. You only get damage from people who jump with stealth ability you can never shoot back at and you take damage from that. And they don't expose themselves unless they have the stealth jump to don't expose themselves, you know what I mean? So basically, you will ha you will be getting damage and you will never have an opportunity to shoot back at somebody. Right, right now, they only you only saw this one Spectre Shock Train here, but imagine you have five or six in the enemy team. And then each player has multiple ones of those. You can kiss your uh, you kiss game balancing completely goodbye. This is the, this is and it. in order to prove to you guys once more how absolutely ridiculous this thing overperforms, I want to show you something right here. This is a screenshot I have been sent by one of my friends and followers on my Discord group chat, and uh, what happened there is in the league in the Legend League I appeared at place five yesterday. I only played for three hours. And recorded some footage with a shock train and some other things with a spectre. 
and uh, and I had this uh, this the live stream yesterday before that, okay? And I believe that the league has been reset, right? Here. I have a Rhino, which isn't exactly the most OP thing. The Strider is a fun bot. It's not really something you can carry the team with. And the other three bots are quite good, but the Carnage is kind of outdated with his low health. Imagine this would all have been Haeshis and stuff like that, okay? Or Bulgazaris or whatnot. Only with two really good bots here, I scored fifth in the Legend League, kind of, by playing a couple couple of hours, okay? Um, I can't verify the screenshot anymore because uh, I haven't played over the night and over the day and whatnot, so I'm now no longer here. But this is what it looked like uh, apparently after a few hours of playing, and uh, I basically achieved this only with a shot with one Spectre Shock Train. I'm not showing you this to tell you that I'm an amazing, cool dude. I'm telling you this to show how much this Spectre Shock Train is capable of changing in the meta of the game. Alright, so, um, yeah, let's leave it like that. More setups with the Spectre will be coming up. By the way, the Shock Train already flew out of this Spectre because I don't want to use this setup anymore. It is way too powerful and uh, the game just becomes too easy with it. To be honest, guys, it's really not a challenge to perform good with this bot. Um, even a, a, a no-skilled player, let's put it like this, would be able to do exceptionally well with this because you do not really have to be good in any way to use it well. And uh, if you are a good player on top of that, what you can make out of this thing is mind-blowingly overpowered. So by such a big margin, because now we're not running new only uh, an overpowered bot, we're running an overpowered weapon four times on an overpowered bot. That's pretty much five overpowered things that come at you. You know what I mean? And uh, the combination of these two makes me think that maybe it would be a good idea you couldn't run Shock Train on any of the new Dash Bots or the Spectre. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion right now, guys. Or nerf the range of the, uh, the Shock Train so that in order to use this rep weapon and be dangerous, at least you have to take a risk and expose yourself to. Half the range of it. No longer 500 meter with that much damage and... Uh, and, and instant damage delivery, right? But yeah, this is it. That was the video you requested, guys. The Shock Train on the Spectre times 5 I hope you liked also this match that I was able to, just by random chance, find. It was really amazing. I'm glad I was able to be part of this. And um, I also think that all the other players won't forget this one because it was so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. It's brutal as a man can it for more. And the notification bell. Hit it too, guys. And uh, see you guys around next videos. New setups are being tested and made as videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye.